Howdy y'all, JTJ back with Inkscape tutorial number two, the square tool. Okay, once you've launched Inkscape, you can find the square tool in the toolbox over on the left hand side. It's this icon, it looks like a rectangle. You can select it or you can press F4 as the quick key and it will change your mouse cursor to the square tool icon. To draw a rectangle is really simple. All you have to do is left click and hold and start dragging it out. There we go. We got a rectangle. You can change the color by clicking on any of these swatches down here. Now, if you want to make a rectangle, you just draw it out and you can change the shape. As long as you're holding the left mouse button down, you can continue to change the height and width of the rectangle. It isn't until you release that it's going to lock it in place. Now, if you want to make a square, it's a little bit a little bit different. So you can try to draw it out freehanded, but it's going to be really hard to draw a square just eyeballing it. You can tell that if it's not a square by looking at the height and width up here. Notice it 32.222 and the height is 36.074. Now you can adjust these down to change and notice while I do that the shape is actually changing with me or changing with it. And now we have a perfect square once these two are the same and of course you can highlight and type in any number you want. And there you go. Now there is a simpler way than adjusting all those settings. You can use the control key. So if you look at your keyboard, you should see a button called control, CTRL in many cases. If you hold that button down and go to drag out a shape, you sort of see it pop what it's doing is constraining the proportions of that shape. So you can still draw a rectangle with the control key held down, but notice how it jumps. That's because it's being constrained. If you pull at an angle like this, it's going to draw a square. Release the mouse, and you can tell that our square is perfectly. All right, one last piece to the tool that you need to know about drawing squares. If you take the square tool and you click on an object you've already made, you'll notice that it has a square in each corner and plus a little circle in the top right hand. Now, this circle is for rounded corners. There's two. One adjusts the Y and one adjusts the X. You can change the parameters up here as well if you want to make something exact or you're trying to match something. Or you can simply hover over once the circle turns red click and hold your left mouse button and drag it down now if you drag them all the way it'll make an oval or a circle now say that you can't figure out why your circles aren't doing what they're supposed to sometimes it might be that somebody has turned the square tool in to making circles the way you fix that is you can click this button make corner sharp and it'll take away those rounded corners alright guys that's all for the square tool today please watch the next tutorial number three on the selection tool